Hey guys, today I want to go over what um, can be the death of you during your training program. So overstriding. I um, use this as a cue and I'm constantly correcting athletes that are overstriding. And all my athletes kind of say, like, kind of ask questions like why, like what's so bad about overstriding? What is it going to do to your program? What is it going to do to your training? What is it going to do to how you compete? So I'm sure since um, some of my athletes have these questions, I'm sure some of you, you guys have these questions. So we're going to go over kind of the two big things of why overstriding can be the death of you. Um, for those that don't know me, my name's Fallon Headings. I'm a physical therapist and a track and field performance coach. So let's get started, okay? Um, so overstriding. Overstriding means that your leg is coming down way out in front of you when you land. So that's like this guy over here on our left. He's got the sad face because he's overstriding, okay? And then we come over here to the right and this guy's in a good position. So he's happy. And then this middle guy is, he's all right. He's just doing all right. Um, so when you overstride, that means you're coming down with your foot way in front of your hips. And that's where you can see that this foot is way in front of this guy's hips over here. And when you put this foot down, you can see the angle of this arrow comes down towards the ground like this. And if we're running this way, our finish line is over here. We essentially want the force when we go into the ground, when we stand on the ground, we want that force to direct us towards the finish line. So this guy, when he puts his foot down, the force from the ground is actually forcing him back towards the starting line. So the first death of overstriding is it slows you down. So this guy, every single time, because he's putting his foot down here, the force is pushing him back towards the, fin the starting line. This is the starting line over here. And it's essentially slowing him down. So he's super slow because he's overstriding. So that's the first big thing about overstriding is every time that your foot lands way in front of your hips, the force the ground's giving you is in the opposite direction of where you're going. So that's why you, your first reason why you don't want to overstride. Your second reason why you don't want to overstride is the demands it puts on your hamstrings. So when you put this foot down here, the only thing that's going to pull those hips forward, because now this is pretty much your leg that you're trying to pull your hips forward with, is your hamstrings. So this guy in the center, even though he's bringing his foot down better, so he's not really decelerating a whole lot because now the angle is kind of going back up into him and not so much towards the starting line, he's still, the only way he can get these hips up here is if he pulls with these hamstrings back here. So when you overstride, every time you overstride, you're increasing the load and the demand on your hamstrings. And that's a lot of the times and reasons why our sprinters end up pulling or straining their hamstrings. So I always, always, always am talking about um, overstriding with people who have previously strained their hamstrings. So as a brief example, I have a triple jumper that was actually out for an entire year because of a hamstring strain. Um, so it was a pretty bad hamstring strain. And now this is my first year working with him. When he runs, he pulls from his hamstrings. So he is overloading his hamstrings every single time he sprints. So you can see why he essentially pulled his hamstring because he continuously loaded and loaded and loaded the hamstrings until they said, I've had enough, I'm done. And one decided to strain. Okay, so that's the two really big keys with overstriding. So you always wanna make sure you're running like this guy over here. When you put this foot down, your hips are pretty much over top of your foot to essentially one, push you in the right direction towards the finish line, and two, increase the load on your glutes and your hips and not utilize just your hamstrings to get you towards the finish line, okay? So thank you for watching this video. If you guys 
liked this, um, please comment or share on it. Um, share this video. And if you guys have any questions, comment below as well. Um, and as always, happy training. See you guys.